So the first thing you want to do is you want to go um, to a new file. So I have Pratt Bootstrap Navbar uh, 7. And as you can see, this is the seventh time that I'm practicing to get this right for you guys. So I'm working hard. Um, so let's go to our favorite uh, text editor. You can, you can use whatever text editor you want. I'm currently using PHP Storm, but you can use uh, um, atom.io. You can use Sublime Text, you can use even Notepad++. Just use the text uh, editor that you're the most comfortable with and let's follow along. So the first thing you want to do is um, create uh, a simple HTML document. I'm going to use Emmet here to uh, simplify the HTML typing out. And if you don't, if you don't know Emmet, it's E-M-M-E-T. And you can just Google it and you can apply it for your uh, particular text editor. There is one available for Sublime Text and Atom.io. The first thing we want to do is provide a CDN um, so that we have the files to reference. So to do that, we're going to go to first Vue.js and we're going to uh, installation. And we're going to do uh, unpackage CDN installation and we're going to copy this link go back here and go Vue.js CDN script source CDN and then we're going to come back and install bootstrap so bootstrap CDN and we're going to copy this HTML copy bootstrap CDN Then we're going to copy the uh, JavaScript, copy this, copy it down here. And then we're going to also go grab jQuery because um, the console log gives an error if you only have the uh, Bootstrap uh, script, the JavaScript, and not the jQuery. So because Bootstrap plugins use jQuery, so let's go grab jQuery, CDN. To use uh, jQuery min copy and script source CDN. So now that we got our basic HTML set up, I will see you guys the next lecture.